Hey everyone, it is Diamond VSG coming in to do my week 26 post op video. Uh, date of surgery was March 24th, 2017, and today is March, not March, today is September 23rd, 2017. My highest weight was 230.6 pounds, my surgery weight was 222.4 pounds, my weight as of last week was 155.2, my weight as of today is 152.2. I lost three pounds in one week, 70.2 pounds from my surgery weight, and 78.4 pounds from my highest weight. So let's get down to how I got this little three pounds. It's not little. How I got this three pounds in this one week. I haven't lost more than one pound or two pounds in the last like few weeks. Um, and now I lost three. So I might hit my 140. Nine ish goal uh, by the time I hit my nutritionist. If I continue to do what I've been doing this past week, I actually taped um, exactly what it is that I did. I did a five day challenge, and um, again, I'm going to insert that video. So, this particular video is going to be more about um, that five day challenge and what I did over the course of the past five days. Um, so, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of check in and give my stats. Oh, I'm also 29 years old, and I am 5'2. Um, and as far as the giveaway, want to kind of touch on that I do have a little bit more people a few more people um, that I do have and what I am going to do to add in for you to get a second entry into the giveaway is on an Instagram picture tag a friend on one of my weight loss videos and also put giveaway so I know that that's you tagging your friend and that will be a second entry but you still to get the first entry you also have to again subscribe YouTube uh, follow on uh, Instagram which is DYMONZ886 the second entry that you can get is by tagging a friend onto one of my photos weight loss related and again writing giveaway within that um, within that comment as well so I can go ahead and count that as a second entry any questions suggestions as always hit me up and you know I hit back hey everyone so I am checking in today is Monday the 18th September 18 2017 I decided to do this five day um, challenge to test my pouch. I saw it on one of the um, support groups that I'm in on Facebook and decided to go ahead and do it. The reason being this weekend I really bugged out. As I told you guys, I started to track my food and write down what I ate. And when I looked at the things that I ate this weekend alone, I was like, yo, you're, you're bugging right now. What really scared me was yesterday, which was Sunday. Uh, football Sunday, went to a sports bar and uh ordered they had baby back ribs they had like a little little bar specials so i ordered a order of baby back ribs um we also had buffalo chicken tenders that came with fries and buffalo wings of course i'm not eating all of that by myself i had some help um and i will show you a picture of my plate so basically i had like five fries on the plate i ate like three um, I had like a little piece of the buffalo chicken tender. I had one rib in the picture, but I ended up having two. The other rib was a little smaller than that rib, and I had one buffalo wing. And I did eat all of it and felt okay. I wasn't like too, actually, I felt like stuffed after I ate all of that. Um, later on, fast forward later on, actually, before that, I had two peanut chews. Um, and then a couple of hours later, we went to the bar and I ate that. Fast four hours later, I'm at my brother's house hanging with the kids. You know, we're playing games, hanging out, having fun, you know, doing what we normally do. Playing Mother May I, you know, all these old school games I had to put them up on. And, um, you know, they were ordering pizza. And they're like, oh, Christina, do you want anything um, else? Or you want to order anything from here? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Because I felt bad that I would have to order something separate from what they were getting. And I didn't think I was going to be there um, too long. So I was like, you know, go ahead, just order, you know, I'll get something later. And a little before the pizza gets there, I feel like I'm starving. And I didn't really have too much in the refrigerator because she had, my sister-in-law had to go grocery shopping. So the pizza gets there, like, oh, Christina, you want something? Like, eh, I'm good. I held off for like two minutes. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll get a slice. And I felt even bad eating the slice, you know, or asking for it. Because I'm like, I really know I should not be eating this. But when I say I was starving, like, my stomach was touching my back. It wasn't even a head thing. I was really hungry. So, um... Me thinking, okay, well, I'll get this pizza. I'm not going to be able to eat that much. It should be like a couple of bites and I'll be full. What? Think again. I had like almost the whole slice of pizza. I probably had like this much left from the top. And that was the crust and like a little bit of the bread and cheese. But I ate like 
a lot of that pizza and it surprised me and that kind of like I said scared that kind of scared me and that's what's really making me want to do this challenge like let me see if my pouch is still doing what it's supposed to do and that's what this is it's a pouch test and also to kind of bring you back to that you know restriction that you felt right after surgery and I'm hoping that that's how it feels and it may have just been um, you know, this month, this month, this week is going to be shark week. And it could be because, you know, my hormones are changing and I feel the way I feel. Um, but again, I'm, I just want to do this to reset my pouch and kind of just bring myself back to, you know, back on track. Cause my thing is at the end of the day, I didn't do the surgery for nothing. This surgery is not cheap. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really have to pay too much out of pocket. Well, I probably, sorry, I did have to pay a lot out of pocket. I just haven't paid it yet. But... <laughs> You know, it's not cheap. Um, and you it's I went through a major surgery to lose weight and get healthy and you know, things like that. And for me to eat the things that I ate, don't get me wrong, if it's one cheat meal, I'm not saying you can't treat yourself because at the end of the day, if you were if you hold yourself or restrict yourself from eating treats and things like that, it becomes that much more harder. You're gonna eat way more things that you're not supposed to than you normally would. So you should allow yourself the little cheat, the you know, cheat little meals or not cheat days, just a cheat meal, just one meal throughout that day. But I cheated the whole day, and that's what my issue is. Um, so after that, I'm still there hours later. Um, I'm sorry, I probably like an hour or two after I ate the pizza, they had pickles. Pickles are actually not bad for you, you know, anything like that. So I had two thin sliced um pickles. Um and then later on, I was hungry again. And this is about five hours later. I'm hungry again. I'm like, yo, I'm starving. We get home. I had um, Chinese food the night before. See, another bad thing. But I had um, just the boneless spare ribs. Like, I didn't have any rice or anything to go with it. Just the boneless spare ribs. But that's still not good because pork is a little higher in fat. But also the sauce that's on it doesn't help. So I ended up... Um, heating up about three ounces of it but I had help eating it so I came back in the kitchen and um heated up the rest and I ate you all know, again with help ate the rest so I don't know exactly how much I ate I would say maybe about four ounces um and I didn't feel um too full and actually that's with the pizza as well when I ate the pizza and I was towards and I looked I'm like y'all almost ate this whole pizza and I don't feel full like I, I mean I felt like I could have kept eating so I stopped myself from eating and again that's the part that's what really scared me into wanting to do this five day um pouch test um and again so I ate the um bone spare ribs didn't feel full I'm like yo I felt full enough to where I'm like okay I need to stop but it wasn't like a full like oh yo I, I'm done like uh -uh. it felt full like I can probably fit in a couple more pieces but I again did not so today is my first day today is again monday the 18th i so far have had a premier protein uh shake i wanted to record this because i wanted to make myself accountable um and kind of just show you guys the little this journey um of my five day pouch test um so what they suggest is day one to do a liquid protein diet so that can consist of protein shakes if you make them your own make, um, make your own shakes make sure they're low carb um, you can do broth, you can do uh, clear and cream soups, and you can also have sugar-free jello or pudding. That's Again, these are suggestions. So anything that you would have um, eaten within your um, liquid diet is what you can eat days one and two. Day three is a so soft protein, so you can have canned either fish, salmon, chicken, or turkey. I don't know about that chicken or turkey or salmon that's canned. Might do tuna, we'll see. Um, they can also suggest eggs or fresh soft fish like tilapia, sole, which I've never had and never heard of, um, and orange roughy. Never heard of that either. It's supposed to be a fish. I watch the Food Network channel all the time, and I've never heard of those fish, but whatever. Day four, they suggest firm protein, which is um, any ground meat such as turkey, beef, chicken, lamb, etc. Um, shellfish, scallop, lobster, fresh salmon, or sh uh, fresh halibut. Day five which is the last day, they um, say to do solid protein, which is, you know, any white meat, poultry, turkey, chicken, obviously, um, and uh, beef steak or, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's some of the things that they suggest um, within the, the days one through five. So I am going to try, I am going to take myself on this journey because I feel like it's another journey um, because I've gotten so used to eating regular food to start over and do a liquid diet is just like oh my god back to square one so 
I'm going to document it. I'm on the way actually to the airport. As soon as I finish this video, I got to head to the airport and head to North Carolina. And that's my fear that when I get to that airport, I am going to want to buy something to chew on. Um, and again, I don't have to do this challenge. I'm doing it by choice, but I don't want to fail myself. Um, I felt hungry, but when I came back home, I just stepped out and came back in. Um, and I felt like I was starving. So I was like, oh, let me go grab a rib from last night. I was like, you know what? No, you're about to do this five day, this five day, uh, pouch test. Don't even do it. So I finished the rest of my premier protein. I would drink some water, but I don't want to take a bottle of water with me. I'm going to waste it because I'm not going to be able to drink it before I get to the airport. So I'm going to head out and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I just got into Lexington, North Carolina. I'm in my hotel room. First of all, before I start talking, you guys got to see this. I'm about to use this up. It's going down tonight. I'm probably going to need to relax and all of that stuff. You know, after my long flight. But anyway, um, and the rest of the room is like plain as hell. That's like the best part of the room. But um, the struggle is wasn't too bad. It, I was going to say it's real, but it's really it wasn't bad. Um, I still have not gotten anything else in me besides that Premier Protein since 1230. It is now oh my gosh, 534. Okay. Um, I'm just getting, again, just getting to my hotel room. They did give me two bottles of water. So I'm definitely going to start um, drinking the water and I'm headed to the grocery store. What I'm going to get from the grocery store is only things to eat for the liquid diet, which is for today and tomorrow. So I'm planning on getting some applesauce and pudding and things like that. When I come back, I will show you my haul. I just haul. got back in from Walmart and the, this is what I got. So I got a little case of small bottled waters. They are 12 ounces. Um, I got two creamy chicken soups, sugar-free um, pudding, and it's the, I believe it's the chocolate, yeah, chocolate vanilla swirl. Got some Premier Protein. I wasn't going to get protein because tomorrow I'm going to go to GNC and buy the Gene Pro, which is supposed to be 30 grams of protein per tablespoon. Um, but my job only gives me $40 a day, so this came out to $21, and I'm not trying to come out of pocket. So tomorrow I'm going to buy the Gene Pro on them. Um, also, I have unsweetened applesauce, and this is the mixed berry kind. I've never had this, so this will be the first time we try them. Um, that flavor I have unsweetened granny smith apples. I've actually had this and I actually love the way that this tastes So I wanted ice pops. I feel like it kind of was a waste of money Or it may end up being a waste of money, but it's 10 pops sugar-free um, And this is the Walmart brand. I was going to get the popsicle brand, but they were about three dollars and 54 cents for about 20 I'm only going to be at this particular hotel in North Carolina Greensboro, I believe or Lexington for two days and then the other two days, I'm going to be in um, Gastonia. I think that's like an hour and some change from here. These are not going to make it to Gastonia. So I figured, you know what, let me go with the Walmart brand because these are only a dollar something. And if it get wasted, and you know, I don't feel as bad about not eating them. Um, but again, you know, this isn't my money. Shouldn't really look at it like that. But I, I try to be conserve, you know, conserve money, conserve um, food as possible. I don't like to waste things. But... I wanted some freaking popsicles and again this is all that I'm eating I'm not doing any solid foods or anything like that so that's just again the quick overview I got some personal items for myself that I bought for myself because I am going to get into here but you know I'm gonna need this because I'm not beat I'm pretty sure mad people have been in there so I need to clean it out but yeah so I had a little bit of water um, from the bottle of water that the hotel gave me and I am going to probably go ahead and start with a pop um and uh an applesauce probably later on pudding okay so the struggle was real in walmart like i saw so much food that i wanted i was even looking at soup like can i just have that one like just the one with the chicken pieces in it like the chicken and i'll i would like carrots i'll take chicken and carrots but i composed myself i said no you said you want to do liquid diet for two days so get the stuff for liquid diet this the stuff that i just showed you is probably gonna last me way more than two days um maybe maybe not um, and I am, well, sorry, the liquid is for two days and then, you know, the third day I can do puree, but I can still incorporate some of these items into days three, four, and five. Um, my thing is I want to try to get them out the way and eat as much as possible of it within the next few days because I know I can't take it with me on the plane on Friday. So, um, also, so like I said, with more and then when I walked into the hotel right before I did my video saying I got here at 543. They have a vending machine. I walked past the vending machine and was like, y'all, I just want some chips. And it didn't hit me 
the hunger didn't hit me until I saw that freaking vending machine. So that's why I came and put my bags down and went straight to Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and have my little dinner, whatever the hell I'm going to have, and um, do some work. Hey everyone, so I am at work um, in Lexington, North Carolina. And I brought some snacks with me. Um, today is day two, so today is still liquid. Um, but I wanted to go over what I had yesterday. And again, I wrote it down. So yesterday I had a Premier Protein, just one. I had a sugar-free um, ice pops. I had one sugar-free pudding. I had the Campbell's um, Chicken Creamy Soup. I did have one last night. It took me about an hour to eat it, though. Um, and I had one sugar-free applesauce, the berry kind. That was my first time trying it. It was all right. I think I like the Granny Smith one better. And I only drank 11.3 ounces of water yesterday. So I need to get it together with my water. I'm going to show you guys what I packed today. So um, I have a premier protein. It is 10 o'clock and I just took a sip of this. This is the first thing I had today. I came into work and I just kind of went straight to work. So just took a sip of this with my vitamins. Um, one little bottle of Dasani water. But I also have a bigger bottle that was frozen. Um, I brought with me the applesauce, the Granny Smith unsweetened and the sugar-free uh, jello pudding uh, chocolate and vanilla I had another applesauce but it just bust open in my bag so I had to um, get rid of that obviously so that's what I have to hold me over from the time I'm here I got here at nine o'clock um, and I have to go over a hundred files which looks like oops, sorry pretty much all of these documents here got some over there got some here that's us over here. So, when I finish going over those documents, um, then I will be leaving. So, however long this takes me, this is all I have for the day. And then when I get to the hotel, I actually have the soup with me too, but I think I'm going to hold um, off on that until I get to the hotel. So, that's it. Just checking in. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, September the 20th. Today is day three of the pouch reset or test, whatever it's called. Um, and I brought with me today a Premier Protein. I have two bottles of water and I have an applesauce. I should not be here too late today uh, because I finished most of my stuff left yesterday. Um, so that should hold me over. And then I'm going to head out to another town in North Carolina called Gastonia. Um, so today I can have soft food such as um, tuna fish and stuff like that so i am gonna go buy some tuna fish when i get out there and um that's what i'll be having for dinner just because i yeah i want like something that has a little bit of texture but to be honest with you i've been fine on liquid diet i didn't think i was going to be i thought it was going to be a struggle and that's why i waited so long to do it because i've been telling myself for a while i'm going to do it um and i'm going to do it for like a week or a couple days and i haven't done it because i really thought it was going to be a struggle but it really was not hard at all like it really wasn't hard um but to go over quickly what i had yesterday so by the end of the day i had a total of 640 calories my uh, nutritionist recommended 800 calories um and i don't think i said for day one how many calories it was but it was 440 calories um but i did get all my protein in yesterday i got in two premier proteins um i had two sugar-free popsicles i had one sugar-free pudding um, one unsweetened applesauce. I had um, the Campbell's, the other creamy chicken soup. And um, for water, I only got in a total of 17.6 ounces. But um, I'm going to be working on that today, hopefully, and get some more. I did go yesterday to buy the Gene Pro. Um, I am going to give that a try, but I still have two Premier Proteins left, so I wanted to get those, um, drink those and get those out the way, and then I'll try the Gene Pro um, probably tomorrow. But that's it just want to check in for day three okay so i'm in gastonia north carolina i've been here for about an hour and a half maybe i've already been to walmart um today is day three so it's a soft food which is you know like tuna and salmon and soft fish and i'm in a hotel clearly i don't have a kitchen in this particular hotel so i wanted tuna anyway it's been a while since i've eaten some tuna so i'm going to show you guys what i got from walmart all right so i got four packs of tuna yes i'm not gonna eat all of this tonight i'm aware or i don't know it's kind of early i might but um they are uh 2.6 ounces a piece and what i do like about them which i think i might have to start getting these at home is they are only 80 calories for one pack with 17 grams of um, protein no carbohydrates 
which I know my uh, nutritionist would be very ecstatic about. So I got four of those. Um, I cannot eat tuna fish without onions, so I got the pre-chopped yellow onions. And I also can't eat tuna fish without some hot sauce. Sorry, yeah, that's just me. I also got mayonnaise for the hot sauce. I did get the light. I did compare the label from the light, um, uh, excuse me, mayonnaise <laughs> to the regular mayonnaise. As you see, the light mayonnaise is only 35 calories per tablespoon, whereas the regular mayonnaise was, I think, 90 or 95 calories. Um, so I decided to go with the light. I eaten like before, and I didn't really find a big difference, honestly. Um, obviously more premier protein. I did buy Gene Pro yesterday, um, but I figured I'm not going to open it up. I'm just going to go ahead and go with these premier proteins and call it a day. I mean, why waste it? I could take that for home, you know? Um, oh yeah. Salt and pepper. Can't do. That's, that's the whole, uh, tuna fish pile and some containers to mix it in. The containers are four ounces. I also got some bars. I'm definitely not going to eat these tonight because again, I'm on the soft food, but I wanted to buy them. Um, for either snack tomorrow because tomorrow is um, forgot what it's called but I can get harder foods or harder substances so I may snack on these tomorrow so I got a premier protein I'm very picky that's why I got four different flavors because I may take a bite and spit it out and not want it so I got a premier protein bar which is chocolate peanut butter 30 grams of protein in this one bar my thing with this is the calories this is definitely a meal replacement or has to be for me as a real replacement because the calories um sorry it's probably really blurry uh, but and it won't of course it won't focus in okay well anyway the calories is 290 per bar so that's a lot for a bar and then i got a quest bar and the total calories is 190 for this again sorry about the focus in and it's 21 grams of protein another quest bar i'm um, sorry this one was uh chocolate chip cookie dough i got a quest bar that's cookies and cream i love cookies and cream so hopefully this tastes close to it again 190 with the calories 21 uh, grams of protein and then i got a chocolate brownie quest bar i love brownies haven't had a brownie in a while figured out to give it a try 170 again and then this protein is 20. so i got all of these because again i may take a one bite and spit it right back out so, so far, um, I don't really know the time right now. Um, I think it's, oh, actually it's around five. It's like five o'clock. Um, I've only had two Premier Proteins and I've had one bottle of 12, of water, which was 12 ounces. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm hungry a little bit. Not really. Honestly, I could probably keep doing a liquid diet for another couple of days. But I bought the stuff. I'm going to eat it. So, I'm going to make me some tuna right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so today is day four. Today I'm supposed to be eating like whole proteins and things like that, which I believe are like the ground turkeys and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. But I really haven't been doing that. I've pretty much been doing somewhat of the soft and liquid diet, and that's pretty much it. I wasn't able to record earlier because I had to be put in a room with other people and I didn't want to record because I didn't want to disturb them or for them to look at me like I was crazy. So today I brought with me um, a bottle of water. As you see, I did not finish. I was sipping on it. Um, I had two. This one was only half full. So I almost finished this and I was sipping on that one too. Um, downstairs this morning, they had some protein yogurt, the Greek Yo Play. Um, I'm about to eat this now for a snack. I brought some tuna fish with me, which was uh, 4.1 ounces of tuna fish. And I also brought um, two of the bars that I showed you guys yesterday. I, I tried the brownie bar. It wasn't bad, but it, I took one bite and threw it away, um, pretty much. It, it tastes like a brownie, but I, maybe it's the artificial sugar. I don't know what it was. It's just something that just had like a weird taste to it, so I just threw it away. I brought this one with me too, the chocolate chip cookie dough, but I didn't open it. Um, so, um, like I said, as of right now, I'm going to eat this um, yogurt right now, and then I'm going to try to go ahead and sip on this water. I have, I don't know if I said I had a premier protein. I had one so far, um, so I want to have another one before the night is over, and I'm going to try to finish those two bottles of water. I'm pretty sure I can definitely finish this, but I'm going to try to finish this bottle of water too. So, this is day three, and I'm still cool. Like, I'm fine. I'm not stressing like i want some real food like i i'm good so i don't know i may have to do this for like a little longer than five days but we'll see hey okay, it is september 23rd it is actually um i ended my five day challenge yesterday but i could not do a video yesterday just because i was in the office again with a bunch of people um and then i also went to the airport so i didn't have time to record there um so i'm recording now saturday to let you know what i did on my day five so on day five i had four point 
two ounces of tuna. Um, I did have a premier protein shake, uh, four mints. I did write those down because I got the calories for them. I had a grilled chicken salad um, with balsamic vinaigrette dressing, and I only used half a packet. Um, I did get 12 ounces of water in yesterday, and I got a Nutra Valley peanut butter bar. Um, now that was like 190 calories and that's like the regular Nutra Valley bars that you can buy from the store. I grabbed it because I got a little hungry so um, I did eat that last night after I got home. So for the total of calories for the day from some of it was guesstimations because I looked online to get the calories for um, grilled chicken and things like that. And I actually took my scale um, out when I was at the airport and I weighed my chicken and I weighed my salad um, and I was not able to eat all of it. Um, but sorry calorie wise I'm at 494 for the day for yesterday and then protein was at 65 grams of protein so this wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be and I really think I'm gonna continue this um, or continue to um, you know try to eat similar to how I've been eating uh, I even went to a restaurant this morning to have breakfast and I took my scale with me and I weighed out my food okay I'm just saying so I, I'm definitely embracing more of this lifestyle and I feel that when I did this five-day challenge it really re made me reevaluate everything um, and kind of put things in per into perspective so the pr restriction today was real like I definitely had an issue with um, eating I weighed out one ounce of bacon and three ounces of eggs that had like you know cheese mixed into it I only ate, and I wrote it down, I probably don't have it with me, I believe it was, I only ate 0 0.6 ounces of the bacon, and I believe it was 1.8 ounces of the eggs. So I didn't even eat the full 4 ounces of food that I measured out because I was getting full. So I stopped eating, I stopped myself, put my plate to the side, and called it a day. So this 5 day challenge was definitely helpful. I feel that restriction like I did in the beginning. And um, again, I'm going to South Carolina tomorrow up until, which tomorrow is Sunday, um, up until Mon uh, till Friday. So I'm there from Sunday to Friday. And I'm going to definitely do this again next week um, with the liquid. And um, I may just not do like the liquid diet the full Monday and Tuesday. I may just do the liquid and tuna and things like that because, yeah, it definitely had a great impact on um, my how I feel, how I um, eat, and things like that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and add the picture of the 5-day challenge so you can see um, basically what I said in the first video of, you know, what they expect you to do for each day. Thanks for watching.